Hi, I'm Ron Netter, and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Netter. This time I'm going to show you how to set up Android Auto, and you don't have to have a car that supports it. And that starts now. I had looked at Android Auto a little over a year ago, and I it seemed nice, but it's, it, at that point, from what I saw, it seemed like it was basically... You know, you had to have an Android phone, and more importantly, you had to have a car that supported Android Auto. Well, I'm one model year off on my Honda. Honda, give me a call. I'd like to help you feature the product. Or I'm willing to look at another manufacturer, too, because I really want to have the the full Android Auto experience. But you, as much as that's interesting, not everybody can go out and get another vehicle right now. And that's what I'm going to be here to show you. I did a video a little bit earlier, and I've been working with this for several days. I took my Samsung Smart, uh, Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. We'll get out here in a minute. And I made one addition to it. And let's go over here, and I'm going to show you. This is the uh, Roe F by Anchor Smart Charge. Now, it doesn't do the adaptive charging that the Galaxy S9 Plus can do. But you know what? I think I can get around that. But it does have, and let me look at it right here, it does have a higher capacity charging port. And that's important because when you get a phone uh, where you've got it running GPS functionality, so it's, it's sitting there using cellular bandwidth, so it's keeping the cell part active more, it's linking to the vehicle over Bluetooth, you're going to be using probably more power faster than the average charger would use. And that's where I wanted to get the uh, the Royal F by Anchor because I wanted something that would give me a little bit more room. Now, if you don't have a vehicle with Bluetooth, and not everybody does, if you at least have a... Well, the term now everybody uses 3.5 millimeter, or I call it eighth inch. If you've got it, that kind of input jack to whatever head units installed in your car, or if the factory installed stereo has that in it, I've got an option for it. I'm going to show you in an upcoming video to do that. If you don't have that, or better yet, if you're in a rental car and you don't want to link your phone via Bluetooth in the rental car, and I've got a host of reasons for that. I've got an option that will give you a good speaker that will link on Bluetooth to your phone. So, and, and if you're concerned, if you're wondering why I'm concerned about it, it's yes, it's convenience for you. You can link your phone to a vehicle by Bluetooth. But here's the problem: most of them will bring over the contents of all your phone directory, all the call logs, all that kind of thing, and that's not something you want to leave behind in a rental car. I know I sure don't. But that's anyway. That's beside the point. Let's go on to the video I shot, and I'll walk you through Android Auto, and you'll start to see some of the real potential that that's going to have. Okay, we've already got Android Auto installed at this point. Now we're going to go through the initial setup. I'm going to show it to you this all in portrait mode. I prefer to operate in landscape, but I, after several hours of working, I couldn't find a good way to switch video between the portrait and landscape mode, so we'll just go with that. So tap on get started. And there's some granting permissions you gotta do. It's basically just allow to everything. I don't know why you would do the others. And oh this SMS one is interesting. I actually had it read a text message to me today when I was working on this, and it was pretty decent really. So we'll tell it to basically do everything and we'll click continue. Now you need to be able to notification access. It, you need to turn that on because otherwise it won't be able to read the text messages and you can even respond back to them. I hope that was interesting. So we'll click allow and then we'll click continue. Now, this is the part, this is one of the secret sauce things. I've got it set through two different systems and I'll actually be adding a third so that when the phone senses one of these devices come up, it will automatically uh, open Android Auto. Which is a nice step. And, okay, you'll click, got it here. So really, you know, now this is pretty much ready to go. Now, there's a few things you'll do getting started. If we go to, we click on the maps icon there on the left. Now, the first time you go through, 
you've got your choice of maps or ways. I use ways mainly because of the crowdsourcing function. So assuming you've already got ways installed, it's ready to go and you know just take it from there. Now the headphones icon is interesting because it supports and this is all the different ones I've got installed on here. So I've got Audible. We'll show how you use that at a, at a little later point because there's some tricks I've learned with that one. Podcast ad. You notice I've got several podcast clients on here, and there's a reason for that. A, I'm I'm trying several different ones out. But if you like to have your podcast organized by interest, say a particular hobby you've got versus things that are work related, you can use the different clients to help you do that. So right now everything is in Podcast Addict. It brings up the last one that I was playing. So if we tap up here on the menu and you can go all sorts of things. So this really is very straightforward. Now we'll go back here to the main menu and I tapped on just that circle to do that. And there's a few things that we'll want to go through and do. Settings, uh, that should all be fine now by the, when a message comes in, I'll say I'm driving right now, auto launch, this is the part that we answered with earlier. So it selects both those and the hands-free link is the, is the vehicle I've got. And this BH203, there's a third party Bluetooth device that I'm starting to work with that proves, has proven very interesting. And screen always on, so you can basically keep the uh, auto uh, screen darkening or turning the screen off off when this is running. So really, this is uh, to me even more useful. Now, this is a, on a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. You could do it on a smaller phone, but I don't know how useful it would be to you. Now, if you want to put this on, say, a small tablet, that would give you a larger screen area. And that's really, that's all there is to it. The One of the things I would suggest in doing is when you want to add apps, if you want to make sure it's compatible with Android Auto, tap on the apps for Android Auto. And what you will see across the top is everything that's known to work with it. And that will make life a little bit easier now over time they're probably going to add more but this really out of the gate is is pretty straightforward and it couldn't be any easier than that okay well as you can see it's it's very interesting with how this works and i i should have looked at this sooner and i'm, I'm glad now that i have because as much as i was enjoying the royal viva and i still am this gives me a way that I can get into the Google Assistant. And it the thing here, well, let me see if I can, well, let me pull up the interface here and then I can show it to you probably a little uh, bit faster. I've already got it organized and therefore it's why I can't find it. I'll pull up Android Auto. And if you notice, the icons are right here on the right hand side of the screen for you. So you can sit there and very easily tap over and I'm starting to work and I found voice commands do work like I can tell it to uh, open, uh, let's see, what was it? Uh, oh, I should be able to remember this. I've worked with it enough today. Oh, the, uh, oh, that, hang on here. I didn't want to do that. I got the phone going nuts here. Uh, hang on. Okay. Uh, I've got the when, when you bring up oh when you see the little down arrow and you can switch oh it's audible who i was trying to get to audible so you can listen to your playbooks they're not not playbooks you can listen to your audiobooks so there's a lot of functionality on the phone here that you can do so really it is uh very uh worthwhile it's uh, really this is this set me back all of twenty dollars and now you've got the Google Assistant that you can call very easily. And I was already turning lights and devices on in my house when I was halfway across town. So it was just like I was there. And that really is uh, very straightforward. So it's it, it's very affordable. It's you know, There is a mount that I've got in here that uh, it is... 
uh, that I list in the comments that makes this where you can orient this and there are some other devices it supports. So there's, there's so much to do with this and there's going to be apps that I'll be looking at and other things to do. And I think on a road trip that I'm looking to make, this is going to be a, a definite part in the process. So take a look at this for yourself. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm going to be doing more videos on this one and it is, it's very interesting because it seems like the voice commands are a little bit easier to work with than they were on the Alexa side of things. So give it a try and, and let me know what you want to, to look further at. There are, this is the first book that's already out. I'm already working on volume two. Volume two, because of a merger at Amazon with the print on demand is going to be delayed slightly. They're having some issues there. And unfortunately, I can't get the book released until they've got that part done. But give this a uh, try. Let me know what you think. And I, I think you'll be very pleased. But the you've got your choices of two different mapping programs for right now. Maybe they'll add more, maybe not. But this is why I think the folks at Garmin are nervous because they're seeing that the hardware platform is going away. It's becoming very much a software system. So why did they come out with something like the Roya Viva? I think we're starting to see why. So give, uh, give this a try. Experiment with it. Let me know if there's anything you'd like me to take a look at. And I'll be doing more videos on this in the coming weeks. So enjoy and thanks for your time. We'll see you again soon.